Hey, I'm Jennifer Triber, and thanks so much for making these crown hot hats with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm just doing a quick little video in case um, you'd rather see it done uh, than read directions. And it's really easy, don't worry. Um, so this is what they'll look like. Uh, remember, they don't have to be perfect. Um, I just kind of gave guidelines as far as measurements um, to make it simple. So for one crayon hat, it takes two pieces of paper. I only got enough paper really um, to get the job done and we don't have a lot of extras. So if you run into that problem, just text me and we'll figure it out. Uh, so you're gonna start off with the form that I cut out. So this is gonna be for paper number one. This is gonna make the cone. So you'll go ahead and cut it out. And you'll end up with a semicircle. Um, go ahead and form it into a cone. And I gave the guidelines for the um, base of the cone to be about five inches. I'm just trying to keep, you know, keep everybody's hat um, pretty good and a similar shape. And so when you're ready, you can go ahead and hot glue it and secure it once it's about, you know, that five inch diameter. And um, to save time, voila, it's all dry. Uh, next, you're gonna take your second piece of paper and you are going to cut um, four inch wide strips, two of them, and they're gonna be the length of paper. This paper is 12 by 12, so you'll be doing uh, four inches and four inches, so you'll end up with two strips, and then save this piece, uh, the extra piece, because you're gonna use that to make um, the two squiggly lines that are gonna wrap around this black right here. So don't throw away your scraps. So this is the trickiest part right here. You will glue your two strips together to make a big long one. I'm gonna try to have the seam uh, and the seam, that's gonna be the back of my hat. I find it easy to place it um, on a flat surface and you're just gonna wrap the hat around, uh, wrap the strip around the cone pretty tight, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue it so that I know that that was about where it should be. And then you're gonna just make sure it's all flat. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the cone up a little bit inside. So it's about an inch up from the inside. And you can't have a crooked hat, so you gotta make sure that it's, so that it's up. So I just kinda go like this and an inch from it. I'll go ahead and put a little dot making sure that the cone hat is not crooked. And this is the trickiest part. And then make sure it just dries. And you're just gonna go along and secure everything so that this is nice and straight. And then I'll have another video and we'll keep going. All right. 